knew it was going to be brutal, so were there any surprises in what we've heard? Yeah, morning, Heidi. That, that is a pretty pretty brutal uh, sort of uh, job cut headline figure. That's a third of the workforce. And we, we knew that Virgin planned to cut jobs anyway, but before they, they, they collapsed under the, the pressure of the, the coronavirus uh, travel bans and, and also the debt that it was, it was struggling to service. But, you know, that, that, that's a tough pill to take for the, the workforce, 9,000 jobs in total, 3,000 of them to go. Uh, so it's, it, it's a very bleak market. I guess that reflects the reality of the situation, doesn't it? Qantas is cutting 6,000 jobs. That Qantas is in great shape financially going into the crisis, that they're not immune to job cuts. So, you know, that's, that's a, it's a reality check, isn't it, for Virgin? The other surprising thing for me was that Virgin sees really a, a very long recovery for, for the aviation market, even in the domestic. The, the, the view was that domestic market in Australia is relatively um, immune to, to the virus, but that, that's actually proved not to be the case. And, and Paul Scurra, the Virgin Australia Managing Director, saying it might take at least three years for the domestic and international routes to, to recover in, in terms of demand. So that, that's a very tough environment for an airline to relaunch itself. Uh, mm. Under under any you know circumstances, let alone you know the, the biggest crisis that the industry's ever seen. Exactly, which takes me to my point, Angus. The government yeah. saying that borders could be largely closed until 2021. So, what prompted Bain to make, in a way, such a brave bet on the sector? Yes, yeah, it's a very good question, isn't it? And. You could argue that uh, since they, they started looking at, at Virgin, certainly since they agreed to buy it, things have deteriorated. And the, the demand is, is not recovering as fast as, as the, the industry thought, at global airlines thought. The, the resurgence of the virus in, in many major markets has, has, has really put a dampener on, on the prospects of, of, a, of recovery. Well, the, 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 the timeline for recovery, we, we should say. So that's making it harder. And, and, uh, um, but at, at the same time, we don't yet know what Bain paid for this airline. You know, everything has, has value at a price. We're not sure what they paid and, and what they've committed to, to inject in, in, term, in terms of capital. So they, they're, there is yet a chance to, to make a, you know, a, a lucrative bet on, on Virgin Australia you know, if, if the mass adds up. But the, the plan, it seems, is, is to suspend long-haul international flights. That's what they said this morning. So routes to Los Angeles and Tokyo rem remain suspended, and they're going to cut costs by really just flying Boeing 737s, dropping other aircraft. So we'll see how they go with that.